is Felix Hawkins. I'm Louis. My name is Maisie. My name is Paul Patel. My name is Sam. I'm Tom. My name is Dylan and I did my internship at the Da Vinci Network. I had five weeks at Innocent Smoothies. I did an internship at B Corp. I did my internship at UOT. I did my internship at AKQA. I did my internship at The Conduit Connect. I did my internships at Texture AI and also at T2M. My structure of the internship lasted for five weeks and it was during the summer. So we had five weeks to either work remotely or in the office and we were meant to review their plastic packaging situation and to pitch to them our responses. Ultimately we know there's, there's a better future for packaging in the long term, so actually the students were able to look at all of that for us, look at if it's the right thing now, look at legislation, look at customer need, what's the experience you're looking for when you drink from the bottle, um, how do you dispose of that bottle and what are the other solutions on the market. So it was absolutely amazing to have students take the time, do the research, interview everyone across the business and outside. Just being exposed to probably the coolest office on the planet and to have such great people around I think was a great way to introduce me to the working world but also just to see the future of plastics and packaging was really quite valuable as that applied the knowledge I had of LIS. Hearing about like the founders stories it was so inspiring because I'm like really interested in in the impact space myself so to speak to all these people who have all these like interesting journeys it felt like what we were doing was like really meaningful because we were like supporting these people who like genuinely kind of want to make a change in the world. Tom was able to apply his learning to lots of different tasks that's quite unique again in somebody who, who's relatively young and just starting out in their career. The appetite and the interest in lots of different business functions in lots of different type of companies. A lot of that came from the really diverse sort of experience he had in his first year. So I'd already done quite a lot of research through my degree so I could bring texts from that and I also used um, system thinking to actually connect um, the disciplines together. We did a lot last year on systems thinking and there were loads of opportunities where um, I was able to say like okay we need to take a minute and zoom out because how is what we're doing actually connected to the wider cause of the campaign? I was talking to these people who have been campaigning or at B-Lab or whatever for years and they're like, oh, that's really interesting. I'd love to hear more about it. When you're thinking about new ideas and trying to see things in a way that not a lot of people have seen them before, you got to be able to connect the dots and see things differently. And I think that that capability that I learned studying at LIS really helped me. Even to use things that Innocent had never heard of, like systems thinking or systems mapping, we brought stuff to the table which I thought we, we couldn't do. But even just within our first year, we were equipped with the baseline knowledge so that when we got there, we were already 10 steps ahead. So we were already in motion and ready to actually make change with our uh, background at LIS. Having someone who is doing an interdisciplinary degree means that they are not just focused on you know, one particular area of the business. They're not coming in to get sales experience, for example, in, in our team or um, to get experience in operations. They want to get experience in everything they possibly can <laughs> and they're really interested in all different areas of the business. The ability to look at business problems from multiple perspectives as well, um, that was really valuable to us. When you're thinking about impact, it's most valuable if you can think about the whole system that like a business operates in. Um, so you don't just have a kind of narrow view of what they're doing in the world. I think it's really helpful to have wide interests and diverse skill sets because it means us as intern managers, we can give Tom tons of projects and give him broader exposure. In the case of LIS students, they have interesting classmates, interesting teachers, interesting courses, interesting problems that they're tackling at school. Um, so to bring that learning to, to the internship uh, is uh, it's, it's a benefit for all of us. I definitely think that interdisciplinary thinking is vital to the way that we do our job. They were always really punctual, on time, super professional for meetings. They took everything in their stride, took a lot of new information because they were only with us for I think six to eight weeks. So that's quite a short period of time and for most new people joining the business we'd still consider that their onboarding period. But obviously as an internship you've got to get in there and learn a lot of information and start actually delivering impact straight away. So I was really impressed by how quickly they just took a lot of information in, took it in their stride and kind of started to work on their respective projects. I've interviewed quite a few professionals actually who have told me we're looking for people to just come in, try their hand at things and have that can-do attitude. And I think at LIS and within my internship that was promoted all the way. The difference between good and great is someone who 
strives to get insights and, and just gets engaged and asks questions. Why, why do you do it like that? Why don't we do it like this? But that's the difference between good and great. They could have come to the meeting and sat and listened, but they didn't, they got involved as well. And that engagement is really important. I realise I want to work on things maybe a bit more deeper, things that have more of a social impact. It made me reflect on what's important for me and like what do I actually want to spend my time and my energy working on. I think one of the most important things I learned is that I need to be motivated by what I'm doing. When I was in business development and when I was in policy and regulation, I saw all these people around me who were really, really, really passionate about what they were doing with social purpose. I felt that excitement. Now I know what to look for in the future.